Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today we've got a two-can special. We've got Workshop Brew and Power Brew. So I picked these up in Mole Country Store the other day, and there was a whole row of them on the shelf. And I was really, really confused, actually, at first, because I thought, well, hang on a minute. Is this actually a, a beer from Draper Tools that's brewed for, I mean, branded for use in your workshop? Or when you're using power tools? Because that seems like a slightly unsafe thing to be encouraging. Uh, it's only when I picked up one of the cans, I noticed they're not beer at all. So, ingredients in the workshop brew are one stubby ratchet screwdriver handle, one quarter inch socket adapter, three sockets, 8, 10 and 13 millimetres, 13 25 millimeter insert bits which are three four and five millimeter slot number one two and three cross number one two and three posi i think and torx 10 15 20 and 25 we'll have a look at that in a minute ingredients on the power brew five hss metal drill bits two three four five and six millimeters four masonry drill bits four five six and eight millimeters four wood drill bits, four, five, six, and eight millimeters, one magnetic bit holder, eight screwdriver bits, five and six millimeter slot, number two and number three posi, number two and number three Phillips, I think that is, isn't it? Phillips, and T15 and T20 Torx. Okay, well, let's open these up and have a look. It's not actually a pull tab can. I know that's gonna be a huge disappointment for some of you, uh, that that's not actually a real pull tab can. It's also not something I'm gonna use a can opener on because all you really need to do is just pop off the top here. And inside is a compact little kit containing a stubby screwdriver, some sockets, and well, what it said on the tin. So let's have a look at this one. So this is Workshop Brew. Yeah, so there's a little ring there that you turn for ratchet and that's static and that's undoing. It seems all right, actually. It's made by Draper. Draper is a tool manufacturer based in the UK, and actually their tools are not the highest quality, but they're not terrible. So, yeah, the, there's a little magnet in the bottom there to hold that in place. Yeah, handy little screwdriver set. There's the socket piece. So that's the screwdriver set, or workshop brew, as it's called. Power brew. Oh, okay. So maybe you're not meant to actually tip that. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're not meant to actually tip that one out. Maybe you're just meant to pick out of the top. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? They're not actually labelled, which is a bit of a shame. But then it probably means you're really only meant to take one out at a time. Let's put those back in for now. So, interestingly designed insert there. Not concentric, because obviously it has to accommodate wider drill bits. So that's one of the wood drill bits. Seems all right, actually. This is one of the metal drill bits, a titanium coated one. That doesn't actually look like a very good quality drill bit, but I'm sure it works. And masonry with a little carbide tip on there, I think. And then the smallest masonry is there, smallest metal drill. Yeah, the titanium coating on here just looks a little bit dull and possibly thin. So, I don't know if you're able to see that properly. Let's have a little close up there. Not really sure how well that's gonna show up on the camera, but yeah, the titanium coating just seems like it might be a little bit patchy, maybe. I think, feel like I can almost see the steel through it in some places. So I paid £14.15 for each of these, excluding VAT. I'll put the plus VAT price on the screen. I think probably 15 quid, 15, 16 quid is too much to pay for something like this, although obviously most of it is about the novelty value. These are obviously styled and intended for Christmas presents for somebody who likes beer and likes tools. Uh, which is quite a lot of people, I think, isn't it? 
Whether or not I'll use these, I think I might actually keep these because that's a handy thing to have in a cupboard. If you just want to pull out a set of screwdrivers, I think actually that's not necessarily a bad thing for me to keep. That one at least, the screwdriver set, in the kitchen cupboard. Because how often do you quickly want a screwdriver in the house? I mean, I've got a toolbox that's got everything in it, but I'm just thinking for general purpose for most people, I think probably having a little set of screwdrivers in the cupboard that pack away into a nice convenient tin so they're not just rolling about all over the place. As long as you're disciplined enough to put them away, that's actually not bad at all. This one I think is probably just an idea that they've concocted really to have an alternative to that one because it's just a set of drill bits and screwdrivers and I don't think it's necessarily quite so useful to have this. Anybody who's got a power tool in their shed has probably already got a larger and more complete set of drill bits than that. Although maybe, I don't know, maybe if you had like a rechargeable drill that you keep in the house, maybe for just little handy jobs here and there, maybe that's the companion for that sort of thing. So I think that's quite a weird thing to find in a can. Workshop brew and power brew. Weird stuff in a can on atomic shrimp. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.